right, we are at Sandblast Rally and I'm crewing. Uh, Lost, by, Lost by Choice uh, Motorsports is running what I think is the coolest car here. It is a V8 Mustang. I love it and it has an amazing wrap. It's a V8, it has all the right noises, and it is throwing up a bunch of dirt uh, as we speak. I, uh, I'm super psyched about this opportunity to crew. Um, yeah, th this is cool, this is new, and uh, I'm really excited. Everybody uh, on the team is is awesome. Uh, the crew chief, he had the old uh, V8 uh, Rally Ranger, and um, yeah, this, this is just a cool setup. Uh, much better than my uh, two-person um, setup. We actually have a, uh, a nice van to work out of, people with uniforms, a whole pile of tools, a bunch of spare parts, all things that I wish I had before. Um, this is just uh, it's a hell of a time, and I am super excited. Everybody say hi. <laughs> so the first uh, chaotic challenge that we had uh, was uh, before uh, Dan pulled the car into first service, we got a call that he was stopped on stage, possibly with fuel leak. So we all quickly hopped on the bus, headed to his uh, his last known location, and he wasn't there. Uh, ends up he got towed further down the stage, which meant we had to uh, go down some of these sketchy roads like a poor man's Dakar truck. Uh, and when we arrived, uh, we realized that he wasn't leaking fuel. Um, he described the problem, and after a quick uh, Google, uh, we figured out that the fuel inertia switch uh, had been tripped after they hit a nasty bump. Uh, when that happened, uh, it cut fuel, and it sputtered out and wouldn't start. Uh, Dan just went, pressed the button, everything fired back up, and they actually got to continue down the stage uh, without us having to do any work uh, on the car. Um, he did lose a uh, fender liner, which I had to take with us, but eh, that was it. Um, so we raced back to service to try and meet him, but uh, ends up uh, he didn't have enough time to do a service, uh, so he drove straight on through into line to go to the next stages, and we all just kind of crossed our fingers they had enough fuel and uh, was going to make it. So when uh, the car pulled in for technically second service, um, we knew we needed to do a thorough look over the car because uh, it missed the first service. Also knew that it was going to need a lot of fuel. Um, surprisingly, not as much as I thought. Um, but I uh, uh, have to give, give credit to the team for actually having a nice checklist for us to use when, um, when going through this service. Uh, so you'll see me here, I'm going through, I'm checking fluids, oil, power steering, brake, uh, etc., making sure all is good. Um, we had uh, somebody pulling off the tires, check brakes, make sure everything was good there, check control arms. Um, the, the one thing that was causing a weird issue, uh, so uh, Dan, the driver, uh, complained that uh, the, the rear was like having a really nasty vibration. Um, ends up we must kicked I don't know how many pounds of uh, sand that had built up uh, in the in the wheels uh, we kicked that out and that's really all it was uh, um, yeah so uh, you'll see me here I did uh, need to fix uh, some damage uh, it was that uh, fender liner that uh, fell off that I collected after um, after Dan drove off when uh, he was stopped on stage um, you see me zip tying it. I spent way too long. Uh, need to come up with a, a better solution for a fender liner, but yeah, you know, we made do, uh, made it work. Um, yeah, th this uh, <laughs> this felt kind of chaotic, but looking back on the footage, uh, it, it seemed almost relaxed. Uh, we got everything done really quick. Did what we needed to do. Um, we had pretty good communication back and forth. Um, yeah, you'll even see me, uh, going and checking off, uh, stuff that we did so, uh, I could know that, uh, we were ready to go. Um, so you see, uh, driver and co-driver getting their, uh, Hans and helmets back on, um, and we're, they're getting ready to head out. Um, we're still, uh, filling up with fuel. Uh, so one person does have to hold the fire extinguisher while the other person's fueling, so unfortunately it is a two-person job. 
Um, and uh, <laughs> we were way down uh, to the very end of service when we got that done, but uh, they got to drive away and uh, continue on to the next set of stages, and we got to have some lunch. Now we got burgers. Gary is the chef. <laughs> Oh, don't tell my daughter. She's the chef. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm just a cook. I'm not burning them. I make certain to you rare, though. <laughs> rare is good. Well, on to final service. Uh, this was pretty uneventful. Uh, the car really didn't have anything crazy. Just more dirt that needed to get kicked out of the back tires. Fluids are fine. Nothing was was really out of the ordinary on it. Um, really, the, the only noteworthy thing is the uh, the exhaust on the rear was uh, getting pretty hammered. Um, yeah, ends up uh, three inch tubing does have some problems uh, in rally, so that'll have to get addressed at some point. But uh, for this, it really uh, wasn't causing any problems. Uh, Everything was was uh, pretty boring. Not to mention this was a long service. It's uh, it, it was a 60 minute service, so an hour. We got done really quick uh, and just cleaned windows and uh, then sat around and talked. And uh, once it was finally close to time, we sent uh, our driver and co-driver on their way. All right, and that is it. We are done, we are packed up, we are ready to go. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the bus did amazing. I don't even know how, but, <laughs> oh God, I remember that. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully Dan makes it through since I don't know yet, and We'll see him at bank, or everybody else will see him at banquet. Unfortunately, I have to head back home. Well, now that I'm back home and uh, have have the uh, rally in the rearview mirror, I can uh, say that Dan did an amazing job driving. Uh, he ended up uh, third in class and 11th overall, and this was his first stage rally. It was a great finish. Um, I'm super excited for him for the for the rest of the season to see what he can do. Um, he's got a good car, uh, and he uh, he definitely has a good support structure. Um, I'm really excited to see where this takes him.